And if you look at what the Steelers need, they need a solid quarterback. They don't need no they don't need no veteran no, no. guy to come, come in the locker room and have respect. You have a veteran guy, mm -hmm. Russell Wilson, coming in. He's a starter day one. You agree? That's what Mike Thomas said. All right. So you have Justin Fields. What's his position in coming into this locker room? Back up. Huh? You, you ask me again? Hold on, hold on. Ask me the question on, again. But you you just yelled back up. Ask me the question again. Russell Wilson. He's the guy right now. Uh -huh. Right away. Yeah, yeah. You agree. Mike, that's what that's what Mike Thomas said. Yes, I agree. So there's no competition from day one? Back up. Why are you <laughs> why, why hold on? Why are you disrespecting Justin Fields? I, I was a backup before. Ain't, ain't that wrong being a backup? So you're telling me day one, Justin Fields. Can't compete for that job? Yo, listen, man. I know you don't like to hear this. I think you like Justin Fields. I don't know what y'all got going on, but I'm just gonna tell you. He the backup, day one. Mike Thomas said it. The Bears said it. His play Bear, said it. How, how does the Bears say what? They're sending to Pittsburgh as a first round draft pick, right? With a nice college career and your, and your first contract, they're sending for a six round draft pick. That's telling you what's going on. When I watched Justin they Fields play- find no, They couldn't find no suitors. I mean, he didn't want to be there. Justin Fields knew he didn't want to be in Chicago no more. You give me no help. You change offensive coordinator two, three years. I mean, DJ Morey was there. We have Mooney there. But, I mean, where's the help? The offensive line is trash. That ain't true. He's, he's running around. He's, he's being a running back more than you draft me to be a quarterback. That's the point. So, it's his, point. it's his fault that he doesn't you have a line? You something. So, this is the thing with Justin Fields. Highly uh, recruited, right? Really good player in college, which all the Ohio State quarterbacks are. Can't even name a bad quarterback for Ohio State ever as a starter. Anyway, he goes to the Bears. Now, this is the thing, though, right? They had two to three opportunities to, to get rid of him, and they kept him. Last year, they said, yo, we got the first pick or second pick. What are we going to do with it? Should we keep him or draft and get C.J. Stroud or go out there and get Bryce Young? They said, no, we're going to keep Justin Fields. Yeah. The next year, this year, same situation. You got a generational talent with Caleb Williams. We're not messing that up again. So now when you asking me what should he do, when you watch him play, first of all, the brother is, he about he had about 40 games, something like that, 30 games. He's he's 10 and 28. How much as in 10 wins, 28 losses. But how much do you blame that on Justin Fields? So you you're not crediting the front office, you're not crediting the head coach, you're not crediting the offensive coordinator. They get some they get some of the blame, yeah. But, but you're making is, it seem like you blaming everything on Justin Fields. So I watch Justin Fields. I'm not saying you do, but I watch him, right? And I see a lot of games, he he loses the game. They be winning the game and he loses it. Throwing picks, fumbles, all type of stuff. The kid is a great talent, but when does talent always I just don't win? I, I just don't agree from day one you're saying he's a backup. I, I like Russell Russell Wilson is coming off of a, a not so great year as well. That's not true. And and I respect Russell. I have, I have a great relationship with him and I think he's done some fantastic things. Russell had a good year last year? He had an okay year. The Russell I want and the Russell I know that could be a great quarterback in the NFL is 4000 plus yards. 20 I I I need at least need 25 plus touchdowns. Russ, 22. Russ, Russ. That's the rest I know. Nine nine interceptions. Yeah, that happened like what once. The rest that No, it hasn't. You can go look it up. In nine years, he's thrown for 4,000 multiple times. When Russ was the most efficient is when they had that good defense. Yeah. With the Steelers have now. Legion right? of Boom. Yes. Right. Steelers got that now. They have Hold on. Steelers have a they're not the Steelers of the time that we know. But they're they're okay. Bro. Them dudes making the playoffs and winning games with this all defense. No no touchdowns, none of that. They be winning them games. Anyway, good defense. When Russ was effective, they had a good defense, and he ran the ball well, and he made his plays. That's the Russ that wins. I think the thing with Justin Fields is, like, he's a young black quarterback, that, that, and we love that. We love that narrative, right? I'm supporting my brothers. You do, too, as well. You, you support even more. I don't look at all that. I look at what you do. When I watch him, he don't read well. He don't throw well, right? He has moments where he plays Good here and there, and he has a lot more moments he plays bad. But He's this, not a good quarterback. But this, but this where I disagree with you at, Shady. Go look at the MVP from last year. Go look at Lamar Jackson's stats. Pull him up. Okay. Justin Fields is not far off. Justin Fields is 26. Nine interceptions. And he's 10. From who? No, hold on. From who? Lamar Jackson. That's right. 22 and 6. I mean, but – what got Lamar the MVP? Angry. Justin Fields. Hold on. Let me let me finish. Let me, let me land. Okay, go ahead and land it. Almost 1,400 yards rushing. Nine touchdowns rushing. Lamar Jackson, 1,000 yards rushing. Six touchdowns. The completion percentage, roughly 68, almost 70%. MVP won. The other one you're bashing. So question you, I'm going to ask you is, so did Lamar Jackson win the MVP because of his, his stats? Overall record, 
Overall, one of the best teams in football, and stats do play a part. Right, so yes, but you can't compare him to a Patrick Mahomes. You can't compare him to a I'm Tom not, Brady. I'm not comparing him, but what I'm but he has two MVPs. What I'm telling you is, I'm MVP, lost. Let I'm me lost. Right, I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna find Please. you. Please. So Lamar Jackson won his MVP from his team success and him playing good in good moments against. And the foundation of football, a top monk, and it comes in that helps him. You laughing? I mean, you tell because, me where I'm wrong. Because you telling me, you telling me the stats part, and supporting I'm supporting Cass though. And McCoy, I'm, we both been on great teams. But what I'm telling you is that the reason why Lamar won, won an MVP wasn't because his numbers was was phenomenal, because they wasn't. The reason why he won it because the team success. If I'm the quarterback of this team, right, and I'm beating, I'm beating all the top teams, all the top competition. I'm beating them dudes, right, right? Right. I got the best team in football. Yes. So I deserve to be the MVP. That's why I got it. It wasn't because of his numbers. Right? If we go on numbers, it was mad dudes that had way more numbers he, than Lamar. That's the reason why. He played great ball, though. Who? He's, hel he's helping manage the game. He's helping win these games. He's controlling so, the narrative. Wait, who? Just, what are you talking no, about? No, we're not Lamar? talking about Yes, Lamar. I mean, Lamar is a good, phenomenal player. We haven't seen a lot like him do it at that level. What I'm saying is his team success helped him out win that because it wasn't his stats. Right, so Justin other, Fields' team Justin did Fields, not help him. Justin Fields is 10 and 28. I keep telling you that. All right, I, I, it's I, only one dude that went more. Here, we can sit no, here. No, no, because that's matter. What you're saying don't make sense. It's only one dude. It's only one dude that has more wins in Lamar Jackson's tender of playing his league, and that's and that's Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, and how so many, one dude, and, and one how dude, many years? one dude has good stats with a phenomenal winning record. The other dude has cool stats, and they lose all the time. Bro, you cannot compare the Baltimore Ravens. To the Chicago Bears. Stop it, McCoy. That's what it is. You can't. I can't make the team. That's One what team is. is way better than the team that he's been drafted to that's been skunk bunk for I got one 20 for plus years. Okay, I got when one has for the you. last time you going to go Brian or like I got one for you. And, 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 and you saying that a lot of a lot of the, the failures is because he don't got no help. Bro, he's drafted. I'm, I'm, I'm asking he's you. He's been drafted to a team that's been behind the eight ball and the odds are not presented to his favor so at all. Is that what and you, you constantly changing offensive coordinators. The team, front office, head coaching. I mean, how can I come in and be comfortable? But we're gonna blame him. So oh, let me ask you oh, this. Yeah. Are you saying here, yeah? Hold so on. Let's, let's let me talk ask about, you this. Let's no, talk hold about, on. Let me ask you this okay, now. Okay, okay, okay. So what happens okay. if Caleb Williams comes in and they consistently change front office, change the coach, change the offensive coordinator? Wait, wait. And 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 he and he defaults and he's eight and thirty. What are we gonna blame this on? Yeah, that's a crazy. We're not we're not gonna blame this on. The organization? That's crazy. When do the teams have ten, take ownership? 10 to 28 is a wild number. So let me ask you this now. All right, so you saying about the the the, uh, the, the, the front office and the, and the help he got. Can you name me some of the wide receivers that plays for the Texans? Yes. Nico Harris. Tank Dale. All young players. Are they nice? Are they? They're they, nice. They're nice. Don't tell me Nico Harris is not nice. Don't tell me Tank Dale is not nice. Tank I'll Dale, wait. Tank Dale's a rookie. What does it mean? He's nice. He bought out before he had a fibula injury when so, he broke his fibula. Because what I'm saying is, if Justin Fields played for the Texans, right, we would have the same argument. He don't got no help. That's that's cap. When CJ Stroud came to the Texans, they wasn't screaming about all the help he had and all that, right? You're not saying that, that that's supporting cast. If you had to rank the wide receiver core of the Texans compared to the NFL, they're not a top elite, right? To answer your question, mm -hmm. I feel like the Houston Texans receiver core and the Chicago Bears receiving core is quite similar. You have some younger players, quite similar. Not as much. You have young players in Nico Harris and Tank Dale that are younger, and they're the new wave. DJ Moore is traded from Carolina. Mm -hmm. Mooney is actually a drafted guy from the Chicago. Mm -hmm. They're trying to still figure their way, but the camaraderie in that is different from you having three young guys. You have C.J. Stroud, and you have two young guys. They're gelling a little more. You have D'Amico Ryans is coming in. They're gelling a little more. You have an offensive coordinator. They're gelling a little more. Over here, Chicago, I don't, I don't get the jail. So it's two different situations. We can't, I don't know how they jump because I'm not in the locker room with them. I'm just saying, when I watch, when yeah, I watch we, them, hold on, when I watch some dudes play, right, you're not going to tell me that that before this year you were screaming about the wide receivers that the Texans had. Nobody was. Let's keep it. Let's keep the camaraderie that you, but you know as a, as a, as a, but you know as if, an NFL if you player. Have, hold on. If you have DJ Moore, who's a Pro Bowl receiver, who gets busy, right? He's been getting busy. You put him on the Texans, what they look like? It's going to be crazy. Be crazy. The yeah. dude took that. Hold up. The Texans. You talk about draft picks and all that. They've been every year they draft. I mean, I, uh, I, I, either I, top three or top five every year. Hold on, hold on. You talk about coaches going in and out. I mean, bro. If I sit here and name you all the coaches, yeah. your, your, your favorite coach, David Cully. Remember him? He was there for what two years, if that. They've had a rotating door of head coaches in Texans, right? They had different players move with the Texans, right? 
And that didn't stop them. Do you know why? Because they had a really, really good quarterback. So we talk about dysfunctional franchise. The Bears and the Texans are similar. Look at the track records. What I'm telling you, especially lately, what I'm telling you is that didn't change the Texans, right? They changed the narrative. They got him a top quarterback from Ohio State, right? Same spot. He goes there with, with a, a, a solid wide receiver core, right? It's not the same, though, McCoy. You're not, you're not talking right. about the same. Okay. Let, 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 right. I'm, I'm going to just tip my hat. I don't even have a hat on, but I'm going to tip my glasses. D'Amico Ryans, I salute you, my brother. Oh, for sure. You, did your, you did your thing. Yes, and you the young boys is playing behind you. They playing for you. So let's salute that. We don't want to spend too much time on that. We can sit here and argue all day. One thing I would tell you, you would never win an argument with him, but I got the part. Guess why? Because I'm going to say what I say. And he is going to continue to be a Justin Fields hater. So let's talk about the future. Is it safe to say you're not for Justin Fields? You, I, I won't even say that. If, if you nice, I'm going to give you credit if you're not. I'm so he's not nice. I mean, I don't think so. The Bears didn't think so. I, what's the, I mean for it. I mean, you can say it. Come straight he's out not, and I mean, me. he's not. I mean, I said it already. Okay, and that's your opinion. That's yeah. fair to say. So the future of the Pittsburgh Steelers. You're saying the future is not in the hands of a Justin Fields? You're saying the future is in the hands of a Russell Wilson? I don't think so. Neither of them dudes. Ooh. I mean, Russell's already, what, 35, 36? It's a bold like statement. So he, no, nah, I mean, even if he balls out, right, first of all, He's making a million dollars this year, right? And then he's making 39 from the, the uh, Broncos. Right. Justin Fields, I don't know what deal they're going to give him, right? I don't so know do you see him getting a future deal with the Pittsburgh Steelers? Um, yeah, backups are definitely um, – <laughs> you need backups in the league. Now you need them. Well, you shitting on him. What's, wait, what am I saying wrong? You saying he's getting a backup deal? I don't know if you checked. He's, he's the backup right now. I don't know if you knew that. He's a backup. Going into week one, possibly. But I don't think throughout the season, I think Justin Fields, I'm going to talk to you right now. This is your, it's just your boy. It's your big homie, Deshaun Jackson. Stay ready. Yeah. They're going to throw you in the fire. Yep. Stay ready. Icy hot. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's part of staying ready. That's part of icy hot. That, that works. 